What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. So first off guys, before we start this video, we're going to be doing the brand new dungeon rank in Mount Nebel. Uh, my voice, <clears throat> my throat, everything hurts. Uh, I got a runny nose. So I apologize if the quality of the video is not quite as it normally is. But we're going to go ahead and do a run here for you uh, and talk a little bit about all the characters. You guys already know what's to come here. You know, Ifrit's there, Queen Grassstrike, uh, and also uh, Fiery Condor. One thing I want to talk about real quick, for those who are planning to use any type of mod, there is in fact a, uh, right here, this little notice, if in any irregularities are detected in the dungeon ranking score, you'll be subject to A, uh, service use restrictions, 1 and M, and the action may be taken against suspending your account. Uh, so please, please, please be smart about what you do here. Uh, outside of that, let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and try this out. We're going to jump into the very hard version of this. And we're going to do this together. So I did build a team already, as you guys are aware, on the very hard version of it. I kind of gave you guys the boss breakdown as well on what to expect. I believe this was it. Yeah, this looks like it's it. So here's what we've done. I'll just do a quick walkthrough again. Fairy tale, Chocobo staff, uh, just all the breaks that I need. Uh, we got the ch uh, Chocobo outfit, healing winds, sub equipment. I need to actually put on another one, so give me a sec here. Uh, let's go with filter, our abilities, HP. I'm just going to boost her as HP as much as I possibly can here. And we're going to call that a day for her. Uh, actually, yeah, we can just give her that, really. At the end of the day, that's all that. Mm, let's see. Boost HP, boost HP. Yeah, let's go with this one. It'll give us more healing. Okay, so there you guys go. That's my Earth. Moving over to Lucia. Lucia's got the outfit for Earth. Earth attack with her revolver. Uh, which is the the Christmas one. I've got Bald Eagle as a backup, so she's kind of playing a hybrid role. She's support as well as uh, backup DPS for Earth. Uh, she's got Judgment Bolt for the bosses that are Earth and Lightning at the same time. And I've got Buster Sword, uh, Ifrit Sword, and I've got the Saul Bazooka putting her 9k HP, which is pretty damn high. Uh, and then I've got Sephiroth here, who's my main DPS. We've got uh, Ice Garb, Murasame, oh sorry, Murasame, Edge Wings, uh, Kuja Blade. Uh, this is the uh, Shiva Diamond Dust, obviously. And then we've got Earth, and all the breaks that we need here for substats, and then Shiva Sword, Parasol, and uh, Silver Staff. So if you guys want to check out any of my builds, go back and check out the last video. You guys can see the full build, but essentially that's it. So 211, uh, here we go. Ice Potency plus 20, Earth Potency plus 20, Physical Attack Up Duration plus 20, and Magic Attack Up Duration plus 20. Those are the bonuses we get here. So let's check out what's going on here, okay? We'll do this together. I'm going to do a regular run, and then I'm going to do a, one more run after that. And hopefully with the other run, I'll try to do as much as I can in regards to getting bonuses, like the score bonuses, and see what we can push it to. Um, I might even do this along the way here. We'll see what the bonuses are and what they take away. But if it's, uh, I might, like I said, I usually do two only because I want the like new newer players to be able to experience it without the bonus runs, and then like veteran players to be able to see what they can choose. Uh, with the free-to-play options of choosing whichever uh, bonuses for scores makes sense, right? So here we go. We're jumping into the first boss already. That was quick. Let's hope it's the Mole Crawler. I, just I hate that boss. If it's Mole Crawler, we're in a good place. If not, then it's, you know, it is who it is. Okay, so we got the... We're going we're gonna to go ahead and start off with... Take the auto off here. We'll do Diving Burst here. Here we're just going to go ahead and just ice the crap out of this guy. Okay, let's go ahead and do this a couple times. Do we'll see it one more time here. Do another diving burst. Remember to defend here. It's coming up very soon. This this animation won't, won't finish, unfortunately. That's okay. So if you guys can do tail, tail laser is fine, but as long as you guys can do magic defense up, it'll avoid a lot of the damage, so it's okay. Heal up here. Okay, going back to this. And then here we can just rock blast for the sake of having it done. No need for that stuff, bro. Really no need for that. Just just blow them up. I have to admit, on manual, like things have gotten a lot slower. Oh, there we go. Okay, so first boss, pretty easy. Uh, Bald Eagle really helps with the ice damage. You can have thunder damage as well with, with Cloud if you plan to bring Cloud. But most of these bosses here are going to be more susceptible to, uh, to weakening... To magic attacks, okay, especially things like like enemies like Mole Crawler, 
uh, you're going to want to bring Magic Attack because the physical attack up is pretty strong on those ones, right? So uh, Ice Potency, Earth Potency, Score Boost. Okay, so you can see Physical Attack, Magic Attack down. That's a huge one. So I'm going to go ahead and choose um, Ice Potency here for, for uh, Ifrit when we fight him. I think that's a little more important just to get him down quicker. And for things like Earth, we can choose other ones later on. Okay, so that's been closed now. Should be another chest up here. Sorry, guys. Again, with the nose and the voice, I apologize. Not ideal. I just uh, I caught a cold again. Not sure how that happened, but... All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So you see poison on everybody, right? This is why you bring poison on it with you. Kill this guy off. There's another Poisana again. Okay, here you just go ahead and heal up. And then you should be able to kill... One more strike should be able to kill this guy off. Before the pounce. There we go. Perfect. So that built up a little bit of our, our um, limit breaks. And that's important, right? These ads are strictly there for that reason and that reason alone. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our chest. We got some ether here. Here we go, another chest. It's not a bad idea to grab these ahead of time, so you kind of know what you have before going into a boss in case you plan to use an item to help you beat something. Okay, so the problem with this map is it is fairly big, and I don't like that about it. Okay, let's go up here. Let's see who's next. Okay, so we got three enemies here. And a lot of these enemies will come with ads, by the way. So just so you guys are aware, it's not like you're fighting three bosses. There usually is one boss with three ads. Oh, there we go. Mole Crawler. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and do Diamond Dust now. It doesn't, it's not going to hurt uh, him, but it's going to take care of the ads. I don't want to deal with these ads. There we go. Good. Now from here, you're just going to do Rock Blast. You're going to hope you can kill this thing quick enough. Okay. You guys can see that 40% extra damage is nice though, right? Even with ice not being a weak element here. Here, we'll do this. I believe this is, he's still weak against lightning, so that's that's nice to have that there. We're going to try to kill this guy quick, because honestly, fight him as soon as you can. He's probably going to be the, the the tankiest boss here, and you really don't want him alive for too long, because he's going to lower your score. So as quick as you can kill this guy, do it. And this is where Lucia's weapon comes in nicely, right? Like... I just wish I had more magic attack on her, but I needed I needed to build her with a little bit more, um, with a little bit more uh, dex like supports for Sephiroth because obviously of like Ifrin and stuff, right? Okay, so Aerith is taking the hit here. It's gonna go ahead and blast this up. We'll do one more of those. That should be enough to avoid most of this damage coming in. There we go. We'll go back to auto at this point. And let Blazing Ray do its thing. It's going to do a little bit of damage, but because we just boosted it up so much for magic defense, it's going to be pretty minuscule. Like, look at that. It's like nothing really. Okay, so from here, he's going to shut down. And when he shuts down, this is where you want to take advantage of it and kill him off. Here, emergency shutdown, and this should kill him right here. There we go. Perfect. Mole Crawler gone. This was actually, in my opinion, the biggest threat in the whole, in the whole place. Like, I hated him. Hey, fighting any of these robotic things. Okay, so that's gone. Perfect. Now let's see what we get here from a from a, a buff perspective. <clears throat> okay, so we have magic defense, water resist plus thirty percent, physical defense resist plus one hundred percent. Score. Now this is actually not a bad score boost one. Uh, let's go with magic defense for now, though. Again, I won't do any any scores here for now. I'll do another run with proper scores. And you guys can see what it looks like if you plan to go that route. Again, this is going to be more free-to-play friendly for newer players without all of the extra scores. Because I think that's important. A lot of newer players won't have the opportunity to use scores like this to boost theirs. And I think it'll be a lot tougher for them. So, okay. Okay, this guy's weak against Earth. 
So the, see, this is see how he does physical attack up. This is why I was saying it's important to have magic attack instead because honestly, like dealing with this is so much easier when you have don't have to worry about like all the extra buffs you have to put up with. Like that that that's a lot of physical defense down that you have to do just to get rid of it. Okay, there we go. We can probably just heal here at this point, to be honest. Incoming summons. You can just focus right on the boss, honestly. Here, we'll just kill him off. It's not a big deal. These guys should die to this. We, you could, you could have just saved this and just killed off uh, the boss with, and they would just leave at that point. But it's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and kill them all off here. There we go. And now just use Lucia's one more hit, and that ends that one. Okay. So I would say like this is probably the. Th third toughest boss to fight so i'm kind of glad he's out of the way as well uh baylor king is the, the water surge and the summons get really annoying and then when they go into their um mode for like uh the thrash or whatever it does it does a lot of damage very quickly so that's not a bad one to get rid of right away too so there you go those 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 are probably the worst enemies here so healing potency earth potency plus 15 fire resist plus 30 uh lightning resist water resist okay and then score boost oh, this is not bad okay so fire resist plus 30 percent is pretty huge for ifrit but honestly we don't really need to worry about that i don't think at least unless they made him like op in this in this fight but if it's been pretty straightforward in all of his iterations so far okay so let's see what we've missed here along the way oh okay we've been told we can't go down there anymore game is just is kind of pretty much telling us what we can and can't do all right so here we go next one who do we have now Queen Grass Strike, I think it's the left. Oh, Wound High. Oh, I forgot about these two guys. Okay. So Rock Blast this quickly. These guys are tough. These guys probably hit the hardest out of anybody here. Most likely. Here comes the big move. Okay, so get ready here. You're going to need to heal. So you can use Healing Winds here if you have to. Yeah, you can see, look, look at that damage, man. It's crazy. This is where physical damage is nice, though. You can see here, they, they get their physical damage reduced by quite a bit. So if you had a physical damage dealer like Cloud, he would honestly rip them a new one. So not the worst thing in the world to have that either. Okay, make sure you take these guys out with their sigils. Here we can go ahead and do this. go good healing win this one and i think the next fight we probably could start using a couple items just to keep ourselves alive here for long enough for the gets the next boss the last thing you want to do is die obviously right so don't don't be risky some items are, are definitely going to be required in these places so don't worry too much about it okay so here we go hard land let's see if we can kill this quick there we go. Good. Okay. That takes care of these guys. All right. I think, to be honest, if we go by, like, difficulty, I'd say these guys and Mole Crawler are the two worst ones. Baylor King next. Armored Scorpion. I mean, we don't have a choice of Armored Scorpion. You kind of have to fight him as he is. There you guys go. That's done. I think there's two more bosses left, if I recall. So, Physical Defense, Lightning Resist, um, Score Boost, Magic Defense, Down Resist. Interesting. Okay. Go so physical. Action, can I kick this thing out of the way? There we go. There should be a chest here. Good. Get ourselves this. Nice little reward. You gotta love that they put like blue crystals in these. Even though it's just like a ranking thing, it's just it's nice to have a couple extra bonus things here and there. Okay, what do we have here? Another chest, okay. Here, this is a good time to build up your um we have Grass Strike, I think, left in Ifrit. I think that's it. Man, there's a lot of her kicking around. Let's just kill these guys off. There we go. Again, build up, build up what you can. 
assuming yourself, obviously. <clears throat> you guys can see here, the amount of damage these guys do is not much, but the, the poison is what really gets you. So you guys can see, like, I've lost a lot of health just from, from poisons and simple things like this. That's why it's so important to bring Asunas with you, like, especially the Poisonas in these places. It's huge. Okay, there's another thing here. Okay, so let's go ahead and use some items now. I'm going to start actually using some here at this point, guys. If I have, do I have anything like a tent, a cottage? Uh, that might be a little too soon to use. Or is it? Hmm. You know what? Let me, uh... Let me see what this gives. Special supplement. Okay. Elixir, special supplements. I wish they gave us... You know what they would have been nice? If they actually give us like a, a breakdown of what each of these things actually give and do. So here, we'll do this quick. One, two, three. Okay, so we used total six items. I think that's okay for now. I think That's way less than what a cottage would cost, so I know that for a fact. Okay, let's go up here. And I'm wondering now if this is the last boss. Let me just check the map. <clears throat> Symbol enemy info? Oh, no, we don't have Red Dragon yet. Where is he? So I think Red Dragon, Ifrit's the special boss, I believe. So if I go up here, this is probably where Ifrit is. I'd rather fight Ifrit, to be honest. There he is. Yeah, yeah. So this is Ifrit. Okay. So your choice, guys. Red Dragon or Ifrit. I'm going to try Ifrit out. I'm curious to see how much stronger he is in this. 214. Okay, that's... Pretty powerful. So before I get in there, let me just do one more, a few more things here. Item-wise, we're gonna go ahead and just get everybody maxed up or close to it at least. And then here we're gonna go ahead and do uh, magic jelly for Sephiroth and Lucia. And then that should be good. Okay, so let's go back in here and give this a a good old try, guys. Come on, get in there. Let's fight him. Yeah, I want to fight him. Oh, I have to go back out? Oh, that's annoying. Okay, hold on. Can I go back in here and do this? Nope. Okay, I have to go back out. Let me try one more time. Out we go. In we go. Okay, so remember, Red Dragon on the top there, Ifrit over here, okay? So we're going to do Ifrit. We're going to see how he is. Why can't I do him? Why won't they let me fight him? Bro, let me fight this guy. Really? They won't let me fight him. Oh, come on. Are you serious right now? Because I said no, they won't let me try again? What if I have to prepare? I'm floored here, guys. So I can't fight it for it. All right, well, I mean, dragon it is. I guess. No choice, really, at this point. All right, well, that really, really sucks. I can't even fight the dragon. Oh, this is bugged. Oh my god, this is bugged. Only because I said no? Oh, this is so annoying. Suspend and come back. Okay, we're going to try to suspend and come back, guys. So make sure you do that. If that happens to you, suspend and come back, okay? So let's go back into this, resume. Let's hope we can come back here and do this. That's so frustrating. That might even kill some of my time. I don't know if that counts towards how fast you finish it or not, but let's see what happens here. Hopefully this is not bugged, and now I'm screwed having to do this all over again. Trust me, not a fun thing to do when you're sick. Okay, let's see if this works. Perfect. Okay, yeah, so make sure you guys do that if this happens to you, okay? You guys saw what I did, right? Make sure you just suspend it and come back to it, and then you guys should be able to challenge the boss again. All right, perfect. We can try it right now and see how he goes. There's the badass himself. Now, he's obviously got a few people with him. Let the harness magic happen. Get the ignition going. Just do your do do this. Get rid of the bombs. Honestly, the bombs are, the, are a threat in themselves. Just get rid of them. There you go. Completely gone. Look how much that took, that ignition. <laughs> And the extra little damage here. Now you can just focus strictly on him and do diving burst here, etc., etc., right? Do your, do, your usual, do your usual thing. 
Do this again. One more time. Sephiroth just cast this. There we go. Good. Keep it up. Okay. Go back in here and do another diving burst. The charge is coming. Obviously, you guys can see it. Just get ready to block for it with, uh, with Aerith. Okay, here we go. Shouldn't kill her or do almost any damage at all, as a matter of fact. Um, okay, perfect. Back to Diving Burst. This is a really easy last boss, guys. If you have a good setup like this, you're, you're golden. Like, you're going to destroy him. Oh, this is a lot. Look at that. We should be able to kill him before even this even matters. Yeah, this is not going to matter at all at this point. Just kill him. If you have a good setup, just kill him, obviously, right? If you don't, you might have to... Oh, wrong move. Damn it. Yeah, well, whatever, let's just do this. Stop Stop that from going through. You can you can pause your animation, by the way, and have, a, have him get his ATB bar back if that ever happens. Just keep that in mind. That's, that's, this will kill. This will end up killing him. There we go. Arrow blast. Goodbye, Ifrit. Easy fight. There you guys go. So that forty ice is pretty huge for this boss. Um, after that, though, the, the other scores will pick and choose. So this is the let's just say this is the free to play run for all brand new players uh, with no extra bonus scores. Okay, so this is this is how you want to run it. And there you go. Ifrit's done. And we got ourselves, pro we should get an S+. Plus. I'd be shocked if we don't, but here is our first score. There we go, S+. Plus. Uh, pretty straightforward, guys. I'll go ahead and record this. No extra bonuses. Uh, we can definitely get higher score than this. This is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.